always taking action for you. Happy Tuesday to you. We begin tonight with that internet scam that's targeting people all over Metro Detroit. Yeah, the scammers are preying on a parent's fear by claiming to alert you to child predators in your neighborhood. 7 Investigator Jonathan Carlson here with the urgent warning tonight. Jonathan? Yeah, hey there, guys. Parents are the target, and anyone with a computer is a potential victim. The scam comes in the form of an email. The seven investigators getting our hands on two of them. They're just using that as a, uh, to look legitimate. The bogus letters prey on a parent's fear, an urgent message about child predators in your neighborhood that when you click on the link provided, it infects your computer in an attempt to steal your identity, passwords, and credit card information. For consumer protection officials, the motive is nothing new. Scammers come up with new ideas on how they're going to um, get people to click on links. But the method is getting bolder. That's where the Better Business Bureau comes in. The public depends on us to help them decide, find out what's a scam and what's not. When we get um, a good deal of um, reports on the same kind of a scam and we start doing an investigation on it. Internet communication experts give their take on the rise in online phishing. If you really look at the crime statistics now, uh, violent crime is down since the 60s, since the 70s and 80s. It's an all-time low. But if you look at phishing scams today and cyber crimes, they're increased by two, three hundred percent. For Metro parents like this one, does it surprise you? No. Does that concern you? Of course that concerns me. Yeah. You have all kinds of scams, all kinds of gimmicks. That's with the young, the old. Yeah. So you just have to protect yourself. Sure do. We have a list of tips on our website on how to protect yourself from this, as well as links to real databases to search for predators in your area, guys. Uh, FBI, any idea where these scams originate? Who's doing this? No idea. The FBI does investigate these things, but it's hard to know where they're at. They're oftentimes in a faraway country, as we all know. Sometimes they're here in the homeland, though. All right. We know they're looking, and yep. we'll keep an eye on it. Also, and always have to be so careful. Sure do. Thanks, Thanks Jonathan. Thanks.